one more video about disks or washers methods. But in this case, we don't even rotate anything. We actually are asked to find the volume of the frustum of the of a right circle cone with height 25, lower base radius 24, and top radius 11. So I actually do not recognize this English word, and I checked it. In Russian, we actually call it um, Усеченная пирамида или конус. And here is the picture. I found the picture. So that's already good enough to know what is happening here. So the height is 25. That means age is 25. And they gave us two radii. The smaller radius is 11. Um, the lower base is 24. And the top is 11. So R1 is 11. R2 is 24. Very nice, 24. How to find volume? No, this one is 11. How to find volume of this object? Let's see what is happening. So let's put it on the x-axis and y-axis. And I would choose x to be a vertical distance up. Even though you guys like to have y as a vertical, it's actually not necessary. You have to be very creative here. So we're rotating about x-axis here. And my x will be the vertical distance up along the center axis. The volume of this object will be, we know the formula, V is area of x, that is the area of each slice. How do we know it's dx case or dy case? Let's have a sample. We already have a sample in gray over there, but let me have my own with the thickness. As always, you should ask, thickness will be projected on each axis in this case it's projected on the axis which we call x so it's over here then we're gonna call it in terms of x we're gonna have this dx case interesting i could call it y and dy it doesn't really matter to be honest so you should not be afraid of that it's not gonna change the result but let's call vertical axis x and that's how we know it's gonna be dx case technically speaking it's the second case from A to B, where my A, or C and D, when my A is the lowest portion where the 3D object starts, and B is the highest portion where the 3D object starts. We know that the height is 25, so it starts from 0 to 20 and ends at 25. Now, we're going to have um, A. A of X is the area of each slice right and we know it's pi r squared not anything new here so we're going to have v is integral from 0 to 25 pi i like to kick it out from the integral but it's fine r of x that's what we need to build squared dx and remember how usually i teach this r will, can be a difference between two functions, top minus the bottom or right minus left. So what is happening in our case? What is the radius of this object? Uh, they even draw here radius. Here it is, starts at zero and goes to this line. If we know the equation of this line, we are done with the problem. We would just write down and put it here and square it minus zero because this equation is uh, zero, right? So we know the area. This is the area. We just need that equation of the line. So basically the whole idea is we need to create or build the equation of the line. Find the equation, EQN, it's a nice short notation, of the line that passes through two given points. Which points do we know? Let's see. At zero, the biggest radius at the very bottom is 24. So when x, so let's see, x comma r. r is this axis. This is my r. And x goes up. When x is zero, that's on the floor, right? The height is zero. Then the radius is the biggest one, 24. When the height is the biggest one, that is 25, uh, the height is 25, right? So this is 25 height. 
then the radius is the smallest one only 11 you see this radius is 11 and this is enough information to build the equation of the line through two points so first we're gonna find a slope the slope has a formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals and we're gonna have so which point is the second one and which point is the first one uh, my order the one i wrote is good uh, because the radius is decreasing as you can see so when we go up the radius decrease becomes smaller so we will expect the slope to be negative let's check 11 minus 24 over 25 minus 0 indeed it's going to be negative minus 13 25 and that's true because the line over there de decreases right so we expect slope to be negative that's my m now y minus y sub 0 equals m x minus x sub 0 plug it in some students like to move y sub 0 to the right right away any y sub 0 will work so which one would you like to choose again it's not y and x we should be careful the input here is x and the output is r so x is fine but y is actually r right so we're going to plug r r of x that's how we can call it equals r sub zero let's choose 11 i guess that's convenient or 24 it's fine let's choose 24 24 so you guys understood i'm i find i will follow the equation then minus 24 equals slope minus 13 over 25 x minus zero so that's the one this one simplify simplify will give me r of x equals that's what i need minus 13 over 25 x plus 24 plus 24 put it in the box and that's the equation of the line we need finally you can finish building the well, integral you can also check so at zero we remember we had a small at zero we had a biggest radius 24 if i plug zero indeed the radius is 24 matches and then i remember when the height was the biggest one that was 25 the radius was only 11 is it true if i plug 25 25 cancels with 25 minus 13 plus 24 indeed is 11 matches so i think we did a good job building the equation of the line matches finally let's build the volume the volume is i like to kick the pi out of the integral from 0 to 25 that's the height now let's go back and i will have we go we have uh, this case right minus left so what is on the right on the right is this equation we just found which is r of x equals minus 13 or 25 x plus 24 so this is on the right what is on the left on the left is radius equals zero so we're gonna have that minus zero the line minus zero minus 13 over 25 x plus 24 minus zero i always explain minus zero in case we have different functions then we can always need to take this into consideration square dx pi r square that's what we're integrating simplify and as to simplify we can start integrating right away pi and i will have you can you can integrate piece by piece is going to be minus 13 over 25 x squared over 2 plus 24 x oh no it's squared actually okay okay it's squared you have to simplify it or you remember the shortcut do you remember the shortcut of the integral ax plus b to the n dx that's a u substitution so technically speaking you can do a u substitution here but i remember the shortcut ax plus b increase power by one divide by the new power but don't forget to also divide by leading coefficient a plus c that's a shortcut i teach you don't have to remember it but i did memorize it and i don't really have good memory so let's do it 
again let's um, rewrite it without zero so you can clearly see you can use substitution here minus 13 25 x plus 24 squared dx will be pi brackets minus 13 over 25 x plus 24 to the third power divided by 3 and also divided by minus 13 over 25 that's this piece bar from 0 to 25 equals plug the top minus the bottom and uh, since i'm so smart and amazing i just clearly see the answer which is 24 0 25 over 3 pi i'm joking i just have it in my notes so you guys can do all the algebra and check if the answer matches units squared or not or just units cubed because it's volume very interesting problems that's how engineers deal with things but in calculus 3 we're gonna teach you that you actually can just use double integration double integrals will do it easy and you don't have to build the equation of the y so i will see you in calculus 3 when we're going to be finding the volumes of objects like this easy peasy doing double integration with respect to x and y at the same time thank you for watching